Welcome to this video on Second Generation of Computers. This learning video will enable you to identify the second generation of computers, examine the technology in this generation, and explain the developments in this generation. Let us begin by learning about the second generation of computers and the technologies used in it. Between 1956 and 1963, transistors replaced vacuum tubes of the first generation computers. Transistors were a vast improvement over the vacuum tubes used by the first generation computers that generated an enormous amount of heat, consumed a lot of energy and were prone to failure. Though transistors were invented in 1947, they were not popular in use until the late 50s. The transistor was far superior to the vacuum tube, allowing second generation computers to become smaller, faster, cheaper, more energy efficient and reliable than first generation computers. Though the transistors still generated a great deal of heat that could damage computers, they were a vast improvement over the vacuum tubes. However, second generation computers still relied on punched cards for input and output. For programming, second generation computers moved from cryptic binary machine language to symbolic or assembly language which allowed programmers to specify instructions in words. High level programming languages such as COBOL and FORTRAN were also developed at this time. These were also the first computers to store instructions in their memory using magnetic technology. They were developed for the atomic energy industry. Key points discussed in this video. Second generation computers replaced the vacuum tubes with transistor. Second generation computers used transistors, punch cards, printouts and magnetic core technology. High level programming languages such as COBOL and FORTRAN were also developed at this time. The second generation computers stored instructions in their memory using magnetic core technology.